Hello everyone, welcome to Drishti IAS. My name is Saloni Nand Kyolier and tonight is the night when we will be witnessing a supermoon. So in this video, let us understand what a supermoon is and when is this formed. So, a supermoon is a full moon that occurs at a time when the moon is closest to the earth in its orbit that is at perigee. So supermoon is basically an astronomical phenomena and what happens here is that the moon is at perigee. Perigee is the point when the moon is closest to the earth and at this time we witness a moon that is slightly bigger in size and also brighter in its appearance. So this is the situation of a super moon. Now let's understand how and when is this formed. So a super moon is formed at perigee. So we know this is the earth and the moon revolves around the earth in its orbit. Now is this diagram correct? No, it is not because the orbit of the moon is not a complete circle. In fact, it is elliptical, it is slightly elliptical. So now the moon revolves around the earth in an elliptical orbit which means there will be situations where will be points where the moon will be closest to the earth and there will be points when the moon will be farthest from the earth. So the point where the moon is closest to the earth will be known as perigee. Peri for close and G for earth. Perigee will be the point where the moon will be closest to the earth and the distance here would be 3,63,000 kilometers versus apogee will be the situation where the moon will be the farthest from the earth. Apogee. And here the distance will be some 4,5,000 kilometers. So, this situation of a supermoon is going to happen when the moon is at perigee. And that is not all for a supermoon to occur. Technically, this is known as perigee syzygee, which is A, the moon has to be at the closest point to the earth and B, there also has to be the formation of a syzygy, which means that the sun, earth and moon have to be in a straight line. So when the sun, earth and moon, they are in a straight line, there will be two situations full moon and new moon. So super moon is a situation like over here in the full moon. Here we will get a visible super moon and a new moon we will get an invisible super moon because it will be completely dark. But super moon basically is a situation, it's actually a full moon that occurs when the moon is at perigee and also the entire situation is of syzygy which means that the sun, earth and moon are in a straight line. And then what will we get? We will get a moon that is slightly bigger, some 14%, 12 to 14% bigger in its, uh, in its appearance as well as brighter, some 25 to 30 percent brighter from its natural appearance, its normal appearance. So it will be bigger and it will be brighter because A, it is at the closest point from the earth and B, because the sun, earth and moon are in a straight line, it is completely well lit by the sunlight that is falling on it. So in this situation, in the situation of a full moon, we will get a visible super moon situation which is going to be happening tonight. And will you be able to witness it with naked eyes? So you can see the moon but you will not be able to make out the stark difference because there will not be a stark difference. The bigger point is only 14%. It's only going to be 14% bigger in size so we will not be able to make out the size difference. But we might be able to make out the difference in its brightness because this is going to be brighter in its appearance. So this is how a supermoon is formed and it's a situation of a syzygy, it's a situation of a full moon and perigee when we'll be able to witness a supermoon. Now let's understand the effects of a supermoon. What happens when there's a supermoon? So there are going to be tidal effects. Tidal effects. What are tidal effects? 
these tidal effects are generated by the gravitational pull of the moon we know that the moon exerts gravitational pull on earth and that is when we experience tides high tides and low tides in the oceans now in the case of perigee what do you think is going to happen perigee is the situation when the moon is the closest to the earth so the gravitational pull is going to increase or decrease it is going to increase so the gravitational pull of the moon is going to increase increase which means that we are going to get spring tides spring tides meaning higher high tides higher high tides and lower low tides so in normal situations in the normal gravitational pull of the moon we get high tide and we get a low tide you know where the gravitational pull is higher we get a high tide where the gravitational pull is on the far side we get a low tide now in a perigee situation when the gravitational pull is even higher we'll get a higher high tide and we'll get a lower low tide so the tidal difference is going to be more so this situation of perigee this situation of this tidal difference that happens is known as a spring tide where we get higher high tides and lower low tides now in the case of a supermoon in the case of a supermoon what do we have we have perigee as well as syzygy which means that the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun is going to add up we are going to have even more intense high tides and even more intense low tides so what we get will be known as a perigean spring tide and because these are the highest high tides and the lowest low tides they are also known as king tides so here the tidal difference is going to be the maximum because the difference between the high tide and the low tide is going to be the maximum when the situation is of perigee as well as syzygie so in the case of a supermoon we are going to witness perigean spring tides so this will be the effect of the supermoon so that was all for today's video i hope you will be able to witness the supermoon tonight because of its increased brightness now that we have understood what a supermoon is how is this formed and what is its effect now let's practice a question for prelims which of the following statements is or are correct one a supermoon occurs when the moon is at apogee and is full two supermoons cause significant geological disturbances like earthquakes and 3 a supermoon appears larger and brighter because it occurs near perigee select the correct statements one only two only one and two only and three only please provide your answers in the comment section and we will meet in a new video thank you for watching for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications